Gaming Division. Hey there, welcome to Gaming Division. I'm Cam Ryan, and today we're going to do a little bit of unboxing for Risk Legacy. It's the only copy of Risk that I would ever support. Um, and this is kind of a weird one because we have to do this a little bit differently because the entire game is specifically not meant to be unboxed. Uh, and I'll show you why in just a moment. Um, the thing that concerns me most is that there is indeed a sticker that says what's done can never be undone. And that's very, very true with this game. you got to remember that. But I'm going to try my best to do it so I can at least pretend later on for when we start our game. And the way this box works, uh, it's got a handle built into it. Which actually helps keep it closed. Uh, but it's also got these nifty hinges in it. And if you don't abuse them, they will stay and they will keep it together. So, uh, the first thing to notice, because of the way this is set up, is that there are four packs of cards stickered to the, the, the top of the box. Um... And if you'll notice, they say they have objectives and stuff on them. Uh, open when all nine minor cities have been founded. Open the first time a faction is eliminated from the game. Open when one person gets to sign the board for a second time. Open when the world capital mark is about to go on the board. There are special events that happen in this game. Uh, and honestly, it is... Uh, Far more exciting than it sounds. Let's say that. Um, the other thing that you see immediately when you open the board, or the box, is the board. Um, all I can see on that side is a shiny bit. And that is the, <laughs> the contract on the back. Uh, I will read the contract for the... Uh, we, the undersigned, take responsibility for the wars that are about to start, the decisions we will make, and the history we will write. Everything that is going to happen is going to happen because of us. Uh, this I will definitely open up because I do want to uh, show off the board. Um, hopefully I didn't just cut something I shouldn't have. Um, I'm going to finish that with the box before I show the board off. I just want to do that while I had it in my hand. Um, okay, so the next thing it is a little tough to get this unpacked. It is a big punch out board. Um, that just has some missiles on the bottom. Uh, those may not be what you think they are, they, they affect some of the dice rolling. Um, there's a big uh, mediation board. I don't know, it's how you. Uh, run the card stacks and things that are involved in this game. Um, it helps out a lot. It's fairly easy to manage. Uh, I definitely approve of that mechanic. Um, there is one more big punch out thing, and that has the five races or factions, not because they're all humans, in theory. Um, and then it has a bunch of these star things, and these are used to uh, represent points and, and, and accomplish different goals and objectives in the game. Get your nice rule book. This is actually a really lovely rule book. And one of the things that makes it special, just like the board, is this sticker sheet. Yes, I said a sticker sheet. You didn't mishear me. I said stickers. This game has stickers. Uh, if you're like me, you are horrified at the concept of writing and stickering your game materials. I'm still apprehensive about it, and I've done it before, and I know it works. It's been proven. Um, these go on the board. Uh, there are more stickers in places that will go in the rule book. The rules literally change every game you play to a point. Um, so literally, every game you play, regardless of whose copies you got very well could be completely different. I think it'd be very rare for you to play the exact same game uh, twice. Um, but just for clarification purposes, these are like force field things. These are major cities. These are minor cities. Uh, and you can actually name them. 
These are the number of guys or resources that you get from a city card. These actually go on cards, uh, which you would think would make it a nightmare to shuffle, but it's really not that bad. Um, Try to see if I can get this open quickly without damaging me or the cards. Safety first. Okay, these are a little smaller than I normally like cards to be, but it works. Um, there's one of these for every country on the board, and they all have uh, small representations of like how much they're worth. Now, none of these are worth two to start with, but I think when you start the first game, you will be directed to do so. Uh, there are money cards themselves. I can't remember exactly how you get those off the top of my head. Um, and there are... I can't remember what they're called. Powers? Yeah. Um, that have stickers on the cards so that you can they can be dealt randomly out. There are powers that go on the faction cards. Um, this game is super interesting, super intriguing, and super fresh. Uh, so there's a lot going on here, and I can't get into it too much because I don't want to spoil it for you because half of this is discovering what's in these things. Um, one of the things you'll see, and it comes with a couple dice. Is it dice for each faction? No. The two of the bags should have some dice in it. There should be black dice and red dice. I think the black dice is for uh, attacking, blue dice is for defending, or red dice, rather. Um, but it comes with five factions, and they're all colored, and they're all specifically modeled. We'll see if I can't break these out for you. Put this aside for the moment. Um, the sand people come with little doom buggy race car things. And little people with guns. The purple race, which I'm a fan favorite of, is the Imperials, and they come with little tanks and uh, little Imperial soldier guys. The, the green guys are kind of like barbarian guys. Um, they have little people with claws. And then they have guys that ride bears. Oh my god. So we were, we were thoroughly entertained by that the entirety of our last campaign. We got little stormtrooper guys. And we've got little mech robot guys. And then we got one last thing I want to show you before um, I get back into things. Because I want to show you the last of what's in the box. And I want to go over the teeny tiniest bit of the rule book. And I definitely want to look at the world map. These are the Cybermen guys. Um, come with little red robot guys. They're not robots, but they're in power armor and they look like Cybermen with rifles. And then they have like these big cannon things. Um, or if you're really hungry, they look like turkey legs. All right. Um, so moving all this off to the side here, the last thing I want to point out and do it on this camera is the box. It comes with these two large hidden things, and it, the objectives are open when three missiles are used on the same combat roll. And opens when someone is about to place 30 plus troopers on the board and has a missile. Very specific, and uh, I'm sure it'll be a point. But as you can see, oh, there's one more. Do not open ever. And for the life of me, I don't know when we should open that, or if at all. So let's put these up for the moment. Throw all that in there. Throw that back towards the box, I'll clean it up later. I do want to point out one little tiny thing about the rulebook and then I want to show off the board. It is a fairly well written rulebook, except 
Oh my god, some of the pieces are missing. Uh, those are stickers that you will find in some of those packs and whatnot. And the uh, the rules will go here. And they're even numbered and everything, so if you're looking for rule edition G, you have a barking for it. It's not like it's going to be a big surprise where things go. Um, so there's that. And lastly, hopefully the camera up top is working correctly. Because uh, I don't know how I would do this with this way. Um, you've got the board. There are a few places where you have lines that go with them. So like Madagascar can go to East Africa, South Africa, Japan, uh, Kamchatka, Mongolia, and then Kamchatka to Alaska. And you'll notice there's no other way for the the eastern and western borders to affect each other. Um, well, there are a few notable things about this. Uh, there are these little funny symbols here. You may notice that there are blank spaces here with continents. There's some strange symbol things up top. And there's what appears to be a blank list. Um, this is literally where you keep track of who has won what game. Very interesting social mechanic, I'll give you that. <clears throat> These blank spots here are for people to name continents, and you get bonus points and objectives and stuff for that. It's, it's kind of neat. Um, these individual markings on the countries are for scars and cities. There are certain city type uh, advantages that will go on the top bit. Um, so that's where you would put a city and you can name it uh, Cool Town or whatever you want to name it. And then underneath that, there are places for like ammo stuff and like so you can put positives and negatives and I think those are called scars I could be wrong there um but a lot of this runs like your basic risk with just a lot of neat spins on it oh yeah you'll notice the shape of these indicators here these are keys that read off what certain stickers do there are three blank ones I'm gonna leave that up to you to figure out what that means uh, but anyways, this has been some unboxing for Risk Legacy. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I am Cameron, and that's game over. If you want to see anything else we're up to, go ahead and click the annotations, and they'll take you to our other channels.